You're back with the Observer Effect and our guest this week, Senator Bob Carr. And you seem to have had a busy time at the Senate Estimates Committee on Wednesday. You also admitted to your fellow senators and Hansard that you neither wrote nor read your excellent blog. Well, <laughs> some, somebody in your name has written articles on the blog that goes we'll you, to the we'll detail... Give you, we'll give you an example. ..that goes, well... I'm here at the UN to help squeeze out a new treaty. I not only did not write it, I, d I haven't read it. Mm -hmm. okay. None of my time has been consumed <laughs> in writing that blog. None of my time has been consumed in reading the blog. Right. Social media is a bit of an annoyance, is it? Well, the, the blog's not popular. So few people read it, I think... Uh, <laughs> when I last checked, about 400 people. Uh, read it. it. It used to be lively when I was out of politics because I'd write reviews or, or films or, or plays and express opinions on politics. I suppose among the 400 people who read it were uh, some opinion leaders, some, some journalists who checked what I was saying. But since I've been in this business, I, I, I simply haven't had the time to write, write for the blog. I'd write an op-ed for a newspaper. Mm. Um, and as a result, it's just got the media releases. The thing the senator referred to there um, was a reproduction on the blog of a, a, a diary of a foreign minister I, I wrote for the Sunday Telegraph. Um, is, it, is it a bit silly that uh, people in your position uh, in political life are expected to tweet and blog and all this stuff rather than just actually go out and talk to people yeah, like they so. used to? I, th I think it is silly and I, I don't think... I, I think interest in it might, may have peaked. Um, look, all, all these blogs, I'm sure many of them are excellent. But how much time in the day can you invest in being kept informed? Once you've got through the newspapers, uh, you've got to know, how would you have the extra two hours required to visit all the websites? Hmm. Um, DFAT has got an excellent service. They, they, they lift out half a dozen of the uh, what they consider the best articles on international relations that have appeared across the media on any one day. But without that service, I just think... There is so much now, the newspapers plus the blogs. I don't know how people keep up. I, read, I certainly can't in my position. I read the other day that there are more devices, more iPhones and, and iPads, uh, than there are human beings in Australia. And I could only think that this accounts for the lack of eye contact and conversation. I mean, is it dumbing us down, do you think? I, I don't know, but no, no, what worries me is that uh, when my attention's drawn to stuff online, I'm struck by how surprisingly good a lot of it is mm. and how I wish I had wished I had the time yeah. to devour it. But on top of the newspaper world, which mm. you've still got to pay attention to, how do you get time to go to all these all these sites? Mm. Well, see, I'm, 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 a, I'm, I'm a lesser human, I suppose, and so I end up looking at silly things where dogs are pretending to eat things and I lose <laughs> minutes and minutes of my day on that. That doesn't happen to you? Yeah, but how do you... How many hours have you got to pursue anything serious or non-serious mm. to, to feed information, force-feed yourself with yeah. information? There's just a time limit. Yeah. When the, 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 the demands of daily life take over. Yeah, maybe I should look less at the dogs. And, mm. and the fun things on mm. the internet.